Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Pikmin 4. Now it's time to go on to night expedition because we have uh, a lot of leaflings to cure. A lot of them. Nah. Luckily for us we have two areas to go do night missions in, so we can do all that now, so. Let's go ahead and do that. Back in the serene shores, going to the blossoming dunes. Starting off at one difficulty. Seems alright then, probably. <laughs> Could have even done this earlier. I still have a lot of glow seeds I haven't had to use yet. At some point I'm going to need them. I'm, I'm guessing. It's going to get bad and I'm just going to need to spawn some Pikmin to do something. Get to the next floor or whatever of a dungeon. I see one knoll. It's probably all we're going to have. Luckily for us, the calm waters are very eerie at night. Also, I love that the, the stones here don't glow because it's not doesn't have any light to reflect off of them. Okay, here's our glow Pikmin. Let's get some more. There's a knoll here. Gonna be very helpful. Is there anything else up this way? There's a lot of enemies. Probably nothing else though. So just good to just check all that. Still got a bit of time before the enemies start coming. They are around, but they're not being terrible at the moment. Can even take some of these out. Oh, missed. I didn't get it. It's fine. There we go. And now the enemies are coming. Uh, there's only a few more piles of things that we can pull from as well. I can also tell o Ochi to do some more stuff, probably, than what I've already done. I could also probably tell him to go protect the thing. Or something. Command. Protect the blue knoll. Luminol. Ah. Ah. It's fine. Everything's under control. Just one more piece there. Which is arrived at the place. There's a star pile there. I don't actually know what these are called. I just call them star piles for some reason. Even though that's not quite what they are. There's also another luminol here. Or... What's it called? A trap knoll. To slow them down. Let's bring you down. How are we doing on enemies right now? Alright. I don't know if they'll leave- if they're going to the piles and stuff. The way I hope they would be. Also, we have a lot of glow Pikmin right now. It's very nice. I, they don't just float up? Okay. That's fine. We just need to take care of them normally. Which is fine since we have so many. How are we doing now? Just one pile left. Apparently. Oh no, there's another one way over that way. I'll go take a look at that then. I don't think... Um... Ochi's gonna be able to take care of the flying enemies though. There's that. Ochi's been hurt. Might be alright. We just need to survive to morning. Honestly. How far away is this? this? Is this even a good idea? They're attacking the thing. Just want this stuff though. 40? Probably worthwhile. 
Need to get over there, though. I don't know if I can get more things. Oh, I can. They do switch over to whoever's active. That is extremely helpful. There goes the Trick Knoll. They're also attacking this now. Get him, please. It's fine. Command. Got that. There's also this over here that I didn't apparently get. So I'll get that now. We're up to 77. Oh. 80, 90, 91. 96. Is there any other pause I didn't get all of it? Nope, that's it. Cool. Let's take care of the rest of these then. Now that we have a lot on our side. Also, it would be good to probably stun them some more. Except they aren't able to right now. Don't do that. Or that. Or that. This is not going as coin to plan. Get him. And that should be all of them. With 93 Glow Pikmin. Pretty good. Although I probably struggled a bit much for a one star difficulty. You put in the effort out there, new blood. I hope I did. <laughs> now we can make the cure. Unequipping and equipping gear. You can equip and unequip gear from yourself and Ochi using the tablet's gear and skills app. I was actually wondering if that was going to be a thing. No, I didn't realize it was. <laughs> the help, the, the text on the screen is so helpful. Thirty-six enemies for a one-star difficulty. We did see a lot of them out there, so. Hey, look at that. Nineteen more. Glow seeds, very nice. I must have a full squad now. Welcome back from your night expedition. Thanks to, to you two, I was able to prepare the medicine. <laughs> you did it. That means we can cure Captain Olimar. It's been quite a journey, but we've accomplished our mission at last. Well then, everyone, get ready for an exciting morning. Doctor, administer the cure. Yes, Captain. So many spacesuits. Who are you guys? Excuse me while I get my bearings. I must have been shipwrecked. Looks like I've caused you all quite a bit of trouble. My apologies. I owe the entire rescue corps uh, a massive thank you, truly. Oh, how silly of me. I forgot to mention. I am Captain Olimar of the Great SS Dolphin. Hockatate Freight Employee. Home Planet, Hockatate. A hard worker and family man who often sacrifices his time off to support his family. He also seems to be a magnet for bad luck. He really is. I mean, he's usually, he's like, he's a good captain though, overall. He's done good things and stuff, but he's had some really unfortunate things happen to him. Not his fault though, I wouldn't say. Or oh, once great SS Dolphin, it's currently in disrepair. My employer is going to be less than pleased when I return home. Well, if you hadn't been shipwrecked, we'd never have found all the treasure here. We could use some of the profits to buy you a new ship, and while we're at it, 
Let's get the SS Shepherd plated in gold. I don't know if that's necessary. Gold plated? No, no. The SS Shepherd would look better with a chrome finish. Ahem. That's enough joking around for now. Officers, prepare for our voyage home. Copy that. We must say goodbye to them too. Farewell, Pikmin. Thank you for everything. Hmm. That ever appears to be the end. At least of our main objective. But uh there's still a lot of unanswered questions. A lot of unanswered questions. But overall this is a really like this is just a really good Pikmin game. <laughs> It's very Pikmin. And it has so many good improvements. So many good features. I like that we can get the Pikmin before we get the onions. I like that we can move the base. I like that we have the night expeditions. The night expeditions are so fun. I like that we have uh, Ochi for this experience who can do a lot of different things. I just love all of this, basically. It's beautiful. It feels very smoothed out. Very well done. I also quite like, like the elements that we've had to use. The bosses have been quite good as well. They haven't been like ruthlessly bad, but we've had some lo losses from the bosses. This game I really hope gets some good DLC as well. Just anything more Pikmin just is good. There's so much untapped potential of Pikmin. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. This sets an atmosphere. Very nice one. Also like the, the way that we collect onion upgrades and we collect the castaways. And even though we could only take out three types of Pikmin at a time, we still only needed those three types at a time, basically. We didn't need a whole 
a whole lot of different Pikmins. Oh hey, who's that? I mean, if you've seen Pikmin before, you should recognize this character. They've been in two other games. Also, there's Moss. Looks like they're going together. Wonder what mischief they're going to get up to. I haven't really been paying attention to the music because it's been fairly... quiet, I guess? I mean, it's probably there the whole time, but I just wasn't paying much attention to it. But this is really nice to hear right now. I need to look up the music so I can really hear it and get a, a better feel for it when I'm not playing and trying to do stuff. It'd also be really cool to have different landing, like different onions, like still having the different colors, obviously, but having the, and having them all combined, but also having different areas of the world that we just have to have different onions for, or even like different planets. Who knows? At some point, maybe. Just entire redesigns of things completely, like even like dungeons, like caves or something else, even that you have different onions for. Pigment's really one of my favorite series. It hasn't had many titles, but it's been a really good series. I need to play Pikmin 3 again. <laughs> and Pikmin 1 and 2. As rough as Pikmin 1 is, it's still pretty good. And Pikmin 2 builds up to the next level. And then Pikmin 3 is just a huge jump. And of course, Pikmin 4 keeps it good going. Keeps it good. Keeps it great, even. And Jeremy? I'm here? <sighs> is it me? It's a me! Jeremy. Okay. Rescue result. 34 out of who knows how many. Probably the amount we have or something like that. Mission length, 28 days. I could probably be faster than that. But also the knights kind of... They take days. You can't, you can't, like, go faster on them. If you enter a night mission, you have to take that whole thing. Which means that... Hang on. Calculating. There are, like, 12 days that you have to use, at the very least. Not to mention going to all four areas adds an extra four days. If you can, if you only get, if you get everything on one day, anyway. Which, I, I mean, it's probably possible to get everything in one day in each area, but I don't know. I can't really do that. 3,209 raw materials collected. Played for 16 hours, 38 minutes. That feels like a lot longer than it actually was. Two player time, 45 seconds. Pikmin remaining, 1,297. Only lost 177 Pikmin. All things considered, that's not terrible. Got 100% of all the areas we've been to. Whoa, how much treasure did we get? 2,200, no, 22,000, no, that's sparkling. 22,275, it's not number of things collected, it's number of treasure points. 1,575 nuggets, 746 creatures. 104 Piclopedia enemies discovered, out of who knows how many. Treasure catalog is 187 out of 239. That's very specific. 
Guess there's not actually that much left. But there's something left. Look at all those Pikmin. 1,297 1, out of the total 1,474. We got the, the 100 Pikmin cap. Wait! Suspend the warp, now! Oh, no. Something's wrong with Ochi! <laughs> what could this be? Space sickness? Yeah, huh? No, it'd take much more than that to put a rescue pup out of commission. But there must be some explanation. Papa Ochi's symptoms seem to have stabilized since we stopped the SS Shepherd and paused our flight. We need to head back to that planet right away. Olimar, what's going on? I'll explain later, but right now you need to turn the ship around and return to the planet quickly. We'll take that explanation now, Captain Loma. No. Just look. Nah. Oh, she's feeling better. I think that leaf may be the cause of this trouble of his trouble troubles. Before the rescue corps received my call for help, I did attempt an escape from this planet on my own. But unbeknownst to me. Moss had snuck into my ship's cargo hold. She started ex exhibiting symptoms, much like Ochi's. I rushed back to this planet, and that's when I, sp I, sh when I shipwrecked it yet again. I don't know why, but organisms growing these leaves are seemingly unable to leave this planet. No, that can't be. Yoni, can we use the medicine you created to cure Ochi? Actually, while making the cure for Olimar, I had a hunch and tested it on Ochi too. Sadly, it had no effect. So what do we do now? Work together? That's right, if we put all put if we all put our heads together, we're sure to find a way to cure Ochi. Listen up everyone! During our attempted escape from this planet, we received a message from headquarters dated a while back. We must have been out of range while the while within the the, the planet's atmosphere. So, what did it say? It's a request to rescue all castaways currently stranded on this planet. They provide a list. Here, take a look. Oh wow. This is a long list. Huh? I know this cop co copyright. Nell. Nelly? Well, I know of her. She's a famous in academic circles and is a uh, preeminent uh, veteran. Veterinarian. Perhaps she could help us cure Ochi. Nelly isn't the only cop copyright on the list. Did she come with companions? Makes sense. She probably wouldn't have come here alone. But I don't remember encountering any copyites cop cop when I was a leafling. If I had to guess, I'd say they must have crashed in an area that neither the rescue corps nor I have explored. They want to find a way to extend our radar search and expand our search radius. Sounds like we're going to need more sparklium. Officers, let's get to work. Copy that. 
Come on. Russ, do you think it's possible to boost our radar even more? No more. Kihi! Oh, Colin, never underestimate the power of science. And forethought. Oh, and, for and forethought. I've already implemented a direct communication or connection between the radar and our power source to give it some ex extra oomph. Excellent work, Russ. And impressively fast, to say the least. I can't can't say I understand most of what you said, but it sounds like we should go ahead and switch on the radar. Now then, let's begin our search. Hmm. We got something. Multiple SOS signals have been detected in, in an unexplored area. Some of these signals have have to belong to Nelly and the other Copiates. Let's get this rescue off the ground. Ochi's counting on us. New mission. Cure Ochi. This Nelly... Nell, I don't know, is a renowned veterinarian. She should have some ideas for what to do about Ochi's tail. Focus search efforts in the newly discovered area. Rescue mission day 29. Well, it went right to the thing. There's something I'd like to chat about. Stop by later, okay? I'll stop by right now. You can't stop me. Shipwreck tail. Ah, there you are. Just so you know, if you'd ever like to hear more about my shipwreck experience, I'd be happy to share. Oh yes, there's something I wanted to tell you. Given, given Ochi's strength, I believe he's a prime candidate to learn Moss's special technique. I named it the Swallow. Would you like me to teach you the skill? So, here's how you use Swallow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Simply direct your pup to run it toward whatever you want him to carry. Then he swallows it to carry it swallows it whole to carry it. It's quite simple. But don't worry. If the Pikmin are already transporting something, he won't swallow it or them. Please give it a try sometime. Alright? Well, that's it for now. When I was a leafling, I saw something that still nags at me. Perhaps if I search my memories, I could piece it together. Tell me the tale. So there I was. Oh, on my shipwreck tale. We have to collect parts, ship parts. Yes, this is what I wanted. We're not doing it now though. I'm cheering for you, for you two. That's probably gonna be after we've done other stuff maybe. Probably, I don't know. I, I, I kind of want to do it now because it's a thing that's already happened, but Maybe we'll do that after doing some of the nighttime levels or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let's do them. No expeditions can be scary, but isn't it? Yeah, we've already read that. Uh, which one do I want to do? Guess it doesn't matter, both two started for tea. Water's Edge. Glow pellets, what well, that's what they're called, okay. The star pieces. Cool. Good stuff. Good info. Anyway, let's get started. Oh, there's two. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe there's gonna be one for each difficulty level. I mean, probably not. Just gonna try and get as much as I can. Can also activate this uh, trap knoll. Get all of that. There's a lot around. Also, there's an enemy here. I kind of want to be careful about that, probably. Nope, I was not careful. Take that. That's not enough. Ow. This has been a mistake. Gonna leave that alone then. Even though I already made the mistake. Oh, 
Where is the enemies? There they are. Some of them, anyway. Just need to increase my numbers. Can't go up that right. I remember now. Please get that. Put pellets in the water too, yes. Need to get back to the stuff. Quickly. Quicker. Just get stuff. The other was other Pikmin will come. Oh, does that not affect them? Apparently. Like you still got another thing. No pellets? No, there is pellets. Okay, they also they handle it. Okay, cool. I'm just wasting time. Nope, they're getting close. There's also another knoll there. They broke the other knoll. I think? No, that's over that way. There's a lot of spaces to go to. Needs to go faster. Luckily we have a lot more Pikmin now to make it go by faster. As well. Get all the piles in one go instead of taking longer. Come on. Um, hang on. Nope. Switch. Command. Protect the blue one. Just for a bit. Although that might have been a mistake. There's stuff coming this way. We'll get them in a second. Probably. Good. More stuff here. And we need to take out some enemies. No, don't do that. How dare you. These t big ones are bad. They're attacking the uh, trap knoll. I just want to get more stuff still. Oh, oh, she's being attacked. They're getting close to this one too. Hang on. No, it's fine. Ochi's got some stuff done. Not all of it, though. Please don't. It's fine. Fine. Where don't you go? Oh, hang on. They're already getting close. Ochi's still there. But they're attacking this. Good. Good enough, anyway. Please attack the thing. The weak point. They aren't really smart about that at all. You can just do that. How are we doing? I think we've lost the trap knolls. There's also a lot of things over there. But I think that's all of them. On the plus side. Oh, big ones. Special charge. Nine seconds left. Please. Five. Okay, we're good. Four. Okay, that works. We got it. It's very nice to also see these give us the stuff as well. Seventeen enemies. It's not as much as I thought, but there were a lot of the big bad ones with the tongues. We get two cures from that. And 20 glow seeds.
Hey, new blood. Have you been using glow seeds? Well, please do. I want to know more about glow pigment, so try experimenting with the s seeds a bunch for me, okay? There are limits to what I can be do being stuck here inside the SS Shepherd. So much, so much, you know. Yoni, you're not conducting experiments on the glow pigment, are you? No, no, of course not. You have nothing to worry about. Besides, the glow pigment are fine. Fire, ice, electricity, none of, the, none of it bothers them. Not even poisonous gas. So really, I can't do anything unkind to them. <laughs> so they must be really good in dungeons. I should actually probably use them more. And tell me, how did you figure that out? Also, I wonder if we can use candy pop buds for them as well. To change them to other Pikmin types.